Let's talk about Funko. Interviews Andrew Robbins aka Bird Brains NYC. We're here at PowerCon with Bird Brains NYC aka Andrew Robbins. What's going on guys? So I see you got some great pins over here, yeah, me, some artwork. Let me get out of the way. Let me show you some. Yeah, pick it so up. We have, I have a skateboard company. So we got PAL skateboards. So we got we got skate dads. We got some beanies for sale. Showing it up. Keep you guys warm. You were just telling me PAL. PAL what is it? PAL skateboards. PAL, PAL skateboard. With two exclamations. Remember that. Two exclamations. And we're at PALCON. It's kind with of a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> double the exclamation. Double the fun. So we got that. Those are actually our riders. So this is our pro deck. So that's the homie. That's the brand of the, of the whole company. And his little homies. We got that. And shout out to New York with the rats. <laughs> Pizza, rat make, rats. Pizza Rat makes his debut again. And then we got the gear. I see the gears in, in here as yeah. well. Um, you got your get table. The I got you, man. I got you. So we got some beanies. Two exclamation points, like you said. Doubles. Always doubles. So we got like two one. chains over here, but two explanation two points. Chains. <laughs> and then we got my personal stuff. So we got some stickers, some vinyl stickers, and we got some pins going on right yeah. there. We don't want to show uh, Alex play for Gorilla yeah, back there. Guy, we don't want to show him at all. We just want to let everyone know that he does work. <laughs> he But uh, let's check out some of these pins, actually. They're pretty dope. I see, uh, see some actually collabos right here. Open yeah, up. so in order to keep him, you know, in the picture, yeah. we did our collabs. So biggest seller was our Sonic the Ultimate Avenger. Okay. But now we got the Tony Stark gauntlet. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. We got that in the Incredible Hulk variant. And then we got our Shy Guy pin, which is always a big seller every year. Yeah, I think I remember the original one was very glittery, very uh, oh, shiny. The, the Sonic. Yeah, the Sonic one. Yes. So we had uh, the Thanos edition that was all in purple glitter. We had the I Super. Yeah, we yeah. got that one. <laughs> we had Super Shadow. Uh, Supersonic and Hyper Shadow. We had those as the clap. Pokemon. <laughs> That's the Pokemon. Grabby Patties. <laughs> FDA approved, don't worry. Awesome. We got, we got Dragon Ball Z's mixed with Mario over here. We got the Pal. There yeah, it goes. Little homie still making his debut. Yeah. And then we got Sonic Flash. So awesome. we just brought it for this for this convention. We brought in Godspeed. And the cool okay. thing is what, but it actually glows in the dark. You can see that glow right there. And then zoom also glows too. Certain parts is awesome. Zoom is awesome. It's doing pretty dope. And then right next to it, House Baelish. <laughs> Little on, finger. <laughs> the original Mr. Pringles. <laughs> Tell you right now. Yeah, we got that. We got Hello Despicable Kitty. Yes. <laughs> if you're a big pony, a Pokemon fan, you know the Galarian Ponyta that came out. Okay. She also glows wow, too. Wow, that's a crazy glow on that one. Yeah. I'm not even a pony fan, and that was actually pretty dope. It still stay. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, I'm not a brony pony or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, wait. It's, it's actually funny that you actually actually got a pop, uh, pin, Reggie. Ah, shit it. <laughs> so what's this, uh... So the glow in the dark variant. Yes. So you know how, like, in Pokemon, you can get a shiny pin, yes. uh, you get the shiny Pokemon, it's like a ridiculous, you know, time to get. Yeah. We make it easier, you get a one in six shot of getting it, so each one of them actually has a shiny variant. So that's a shiny variant of Sandu. You can actually, if I pick if I pick it out, you get the same price. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, right. it's pretty awesome. cool. If you buy the whole set, though, we throw, it in. we throw in a we throw in a shiny for you. We make right. sure you get it. Don't worry, we'll we'll figure out something for your your viewers, <laughs> your followers. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll yeah. Maybe throw a shiny in there just so that. Uh, so uh, when did this actually start, and where did you get your name from? So originally, it was just Andrew Robbins Design. That was very boring. That's my name. Nobody wants to hear that. And then I had a friend of mine. He was doing. He wore like a mashup shirt, and I was like, Oh, where'd you get it from? And he's like, QWERTY. I don't know if you guys know QWERTY, big UK brand. He was like, oh, I got it there. So I was like, oh, cool. So I looked it up, bought the shirt. The first shirt was the Mario Mortal Kombat one. It was Sub-Zero and Scorpion. I instantly fell in love. And I was like, I've always been an artist my whole life. Why not try my hand in making the shirts? So I was on QWERTY. I was on RIPT Apparel, T-Fury, T-Turtle, all the big brands. So. We were original. I was originally known as AP Designs because it was me and a friend. Uh -huh. okay. But then, you know, we all grow up. He moved on, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna take the brand." So I was AP Designs for a while, okay. but it didn't really speak to me. 
And so my last name is Robbins, R-O-B-I-N-S, the bird. And I'm tall, so everyone used to call me Big Bird. So I was like, two and two together, let's make a bird logo about it. So, Bird Brains is born. Because I'm a little wacky, a little hyper. <laughs> Might as well fit the brand. And that's how it started. That's definitely dope. So you said you actually did artwork before. How long ago you started on that? Uh, so I've been a designer all my life. So I've been doing like tagging up walls, doing graffiti, apparel oh, art. Graffiti is where it started. Yeah, pretty much. We were doing like simple logos and stuff. I was doing a little airbrushing, a little spray painting. That's how it really did start, but I've always been drawing my whole life. You born and raised in New York? Born and raised, Queens, New York. Native. Native. Native, always. <laughs> Got to keep it, keep it alive. Not, not these Philly scum over here. <laughs> Only guy I like in Philly, just FYI. <laughs> so how did you get to do collabos with so guy we not, should not that, mention? That guy? That guy. Funny fact, networking is the greatest thing in the world. So I was at New York Comic Con, I think, like, five, six years ago. And I stopped by his booth, and he wasn't there, of course, because he's always running around. So we were, I was trying to always meet up with him. And then I had a friend of mine say he's like a cool dude. So I was like, all right, let me link out to him. So I messaged him online, started talking. One thing led to another. We started making designs, and that's how it started. But yeah, now, probably one of my greatest friends meeting in the convention world. Okay. This guy, cool dude. That's it. We actually interviewed him not so long ago. Yeah, I saw it. It was a good interview. Couldn't stop smiling. It's always him. <laughs> that, and he doesn't shut up either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the same with us as well. Oh, yeah, of course, uh, man. But it's, it was a great vibe on that. Um, what's your next con you're doing? So I'm trying to book Pins and Patches. Okay. okay. That is, like, yes. yeah, number one. I'm trying to go there. I'm going, I'm going to get BK, okay. BK Comic Con, which is also here at Brooklyn uh, Expo Center. Okay. And what's the other one? There's another one. Five points? Five points? I, well, if I can get in. Yeah, okay. Hopefully me and him can so sneak our way right in there. We're going to try to do that. But yeah, those are right now. I was trying to head out to C2E2. No shot on that. I missed the deadline. Are you going to do um, Comic Con this year, right? I'm going to be at NYCC. Yeah, we're actually... We might actually do a booth together too, so okay. make it real legit. I don't think it's expensive over there more than any other con as it is. Yeah, <laughs> but the turnout's amazing though. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Especially. You get so crazy. I was like, you get so many people. I like, I learned somebody here that goes there a lot. Nightlife. Oh, no, okay. Uh, it's like, there's so many other people that like just wish I saw them over there. You make friends over here at the smaller cons. I, oh yeah. And I start, That's I start throwing truth. out names, and he's like, yeah, I know that person. I know that person. I know that person. It's awesome. It's yeah, like, it's, so like everyone that's in this convention is pretty much then dead New York Comic Con. So okay. we got a bunch of we got my boy Jay. Come here, Jay. Come here. Yeah, actually, we used to meet right before. I just want to let you know that I know you. Oh, look at it. I know. Look at this. 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 I just want to say I know you. That's it. I know you too. See, I'm legit. You see, he's still walking around and making friends. And love you, Jay. Uh, Co-sign on that, you see that? Oh, yeah, see, yeah, now I'm legit. Now it's like the Instagram verified, the blue right. check. <laughs> but yeah, no, like a lot of the vendors, like I know them from Comic Cons, doing all the conventions, small tables, even okay. big tables. It's a tight knit family, but you it know. definitely is. It's just great. And just everybody's different from each other. That's the awesome thing. Yeah, about it's crazy. It. You can literally go to anyone's table and you won't find something at another table. That's the best part about yeah. it. Right about yeah. that, especially the gorilla over there. That guy, that guy is a beast and, on his own. I don't know if you notice, but when you come in, <laughs> you see that big forehead. The big forehead up there. I just tell him That's I know, you know the big forehead. It. That's how you know you made it. Yeah. But do you have any exclusives, or or can you say any little, you know, little Future preview? Works. <laughs> Future work on what you're gonna do? Uh, so, <laughs> if this guy would have uh, got his, you know, stuff together, we were gonna drop. Three new pins for this convention. Besides, obviously, the shy guy yes. and my Godspeed. But you game Game of Thrones fans, King of Heart fans. We got a little sneak peek. Maybe yeah. we'll maybe we'll do another interview. Okay, maybe I'll definitely. drop the picture of it. Who knows? <laughs> but we got that. I got a Rick and Morty pin. Yes. Nice, a nice horror pin. That's Cameraman. gonna be in there. Rick and Morty. <laughs> All right, Rick and Morty. All right, don't worry. I'll show you that. We'll show it off the air. We won't let anyone else see that. But yeah, we got a bunch coming in, and then I got plenty of designs coming through right now. They're gonna be in the works. Obviously, Chinese New Year, so yes. like we gotta celebrate that first. 
and then we're back to work right afterwards. Not bad at all. Yeah, no, they're doing like a, a parade or something in Queens right now, I believe. Yeah, yeah they were yeah, doing it. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. On Main Street or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They're going to have the parade till tonight. I might head uh -oh. out there afterwards. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so, and you're here until tomorrow, but yep. by the time you watch this, we're probably, you know, way past it. Yep. But just look out for him for, for future well, dates. Well, you guys, if you do see anything you like here, obviously we got a store online. I'm on Etsy. Oh, just look that. up Bird Brains NYC. You can jump there. I might drop a code here or there. You guys can <laughs> save on some discounts for your followers. I got you. Awesome. Just keep on paying attention. Go check out his IG. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Peace. Later.